A group of Winnipeg high school teachers says the city needs a lesson in the fair use of photo radar speed traps. The at least 16 Grant Park high school staff members are outraged over tickets they've been slapped with in the past several weeks. For high speeds, they say they were not driving anywhere near when clocked here by a mobile unit along Grant Avenue in front of the school. Phys ed teacher Donna Alexander plans to fight three fines totaling nearly $1,000 she's been ordered to pay for supposedly driving at speeds of 69, 70 and 75 kilometers per hour in a 50 zone. He's clocking us at huge speeds when we can't possibly be even traveling anywhere near that right after school with all the kids around and the buses parked and stuff. There's just no way. Vehicles parked in this parallel service road are taking the pictures that are sent to the drivers. Grant Park custodian Romeo Furland received a ticket that claims he was going 68 kilometers per hour on his scooter, which has a maximum speed of 70. He says it's impossible he was going nearly that fast. I've had one speeding ticket my whole life, and then I was in my early 20s. Let's talk about to over 25 years ago. So it's this is something's not right here. The staff, most of them teachers, are joining to fight the tickets on the basis that the photo radar speed readings are way off, and they're getting help from people who know the city's photograph enforcement system. The argument is they're being clocked by a vehicle too far from the street. Wise Up Winnipeg, a group against the city's photo enforcement techniques, says the problem is pretty simple. They say a photo unit, like a van here on a service road, can't gauge the speed accurately for traffic on Grant way over there. Todd Dubé of the advocacy group says the geometry of photo radar makes the operator's readings extremely questionable. This guy here is 46 feet off of the road parallel to the traffic that he's enforcing. That gives you an angle of radar, which is known as, which produces the cosine effect, which is wildly unreliable. And that's what you're seeing here. Alexander says the number of affected school staff is at 16 and counting. I mean, all of us are, are ma maniac speeders magically, like really? It's, it's whacked, yeah. Ross Romanuk, Winnipeg Sun.